Praxis and this morning I'm over near the root cellar and I'm going to be working on these light tubes. I'm also going to be working on the air vent down in the corner here. The reason I want to jump over to this now is because my contractors that have been doing the site work, I, you know, as usual they're, they're like not getting back to me and everything, but according to them, 48 hours ago they were going to be here bringing me gravel so I could do a perimeter drain. Now obviously that didn't happen, but I want to be ready for them when they are, so I want to get all these vents kind of in. Uh, because before I can put asphalt tar on this thing, I want to get all of these uh, all these pastures and tubes like kind of all inset so that I can get like asphalt tar around all the seals and everything. And, you know, just make the whole thing nice and watertight. Uh, so uh, I'm working on that this morning. I've got a couple of pieces pre-cut, and this is for the light tube. Uh, there's a 90 degree bend. It's going to uh, assemble like that. You can see in the inside I've painted it with uh, kind of a silver reflective paint. Uh, there's nothing uh, really in this uh, in terms of reflectivity other than just the reflectivity of the plastic. But what I, I am going to be doing is I've cut some mylar sheets, some she large sheets of mylar, and uh, I'm going to be making little tube inserts. So this is going to go into there, and these are a little snug. So they're a little more snug than they usually are. I get a little board so I can tap that in once I'm gluing it. Uh, usually these would go in pretty easily. I'm thinking that maybe the weight of the concrete might have deformed the, uh, the pasture that I set in there. And I, I thought ahead when I did this, I, ma I made the pastures with one piece of regular pipe and then a coupling on the end. And I have the coupling facing out so that I knew I'd be able to just slide this right in like that. So let me just kind of temporarily get this in like that. And then that's gonna go in like that. And then there'll be a four foot section that goes up to grab daylight. Um, and that's the basic idea. Um, so at the moment, what I want to work on, I'm not actually going to attach the mirror section until later when I do the, uh, the vertical section. I just want to get this in at the moment because once I get this in, I can do all the asphalt and everything around it. Um, so I'm going to glue it in. I, I've got uh, this multi-purpose cement that I'm using that's good for PVC and a bunch of other plastics. But in particular, it's good for ABS, and that's what this black pipe is. It's ABS. Uh, usually I like to have like a work surface right next to where I'm working because this stuff it starts drying pretty quickly uh, but the procedure is I'm gonna take the little swab brush from uh, here I'm going to well, I guess I'm gonna paint a little bit onto the inside here paint it onto the outside here you know more is more is better for this kind of thing in, in particular I think it'll act as a bit of a lubricant to help, help get this thing in um, but that's the uh, procedure so I guess I'll put that between my legs I'm going to paint a little bit on here. And you got to you got to work kind of quickly once you begin working cuz like I said the stuff dries pretty quickly. So I got that there. And I'm going to set this down and I'm going to put it around this this can and this brush is maybe a little bit on the small side for this. But I think I'm going to get it to work. It's not like it has to hold pressure or anything. And then this goes right in there and as it goes in you want to give it a twist and I get a board to tap it all right there you go <laughs> so I get that in um, so I'm gonna leave that like this I'm gonna uh, do the other four uh, light tubes and uh, in, the, in the same kind of procedure and then uh, what I'll do is I'll put all the asphalt coat on this thing so it's all ready to start being backfilled and then later on I'll take these mirrored things you know once like the backfills up to here or so and I'm gonna put these on get the four foot section and that way I'll be able to be really careful using a nice level uh, to make sure that the these uh, you know tubes are nice and vertical not that it really matters at all really um, but just aesthetically I'd like for them all to be nice and perfectly vertical. So four more just like that. That's it. Thanks for watching.